quickly beginning with our first session for the day, which is a keynote address. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dr. Navneet Anand, founder and director, Grey Matters Communications and Consulting. A very warm good morning to all of you. And <clears throat> I'm deeply humbled and honored to be here. Thank you, Karan Bhatiaji, for giving me this really privileged opportunity to come and share some thoughts and ideas about what I feel PR is about. My uh, association with Exchange for Media, E4M, goes back many years when Dr. Batra had more hair. He, we will not remember. But sir, I used to go as a t faculty at uh, FMCC. I used to work in the Times of India. So Sajal, uh, I'm sure he's going to join us later. Uh, I was a lowly paid uh, reporter in the Times of India and I needed to add on some money and also use my whatever little academic I had gained by doing my PhD. So, and it's always been a matter of pride the way Exchange for Media, E4M has grown over the years. And uh, last year, when we received this uh, very prestigious award for public affairs, I think, uh, uh, I started to actively engage in the activities of this great organization, which has really built many communities uh, for the marketing and industry, uh, communication industry. And as I said, I'm deeply humbled. So what I'm going to do after a very enlightening note by uh, Dr. Batra uh, is to talk about some some of my own experiences, you know. Uh, I must confess, you know, and I, as I heard that Dr. Batra is going to be speaking before me, I, was, I had a per performance anxiety, and I asked uh, my colleagues to help me with a Google on what makes for a boring speech. And, uh, you know, uh, I come from a J training in JNU, so I have, I might have an academic bias also, uh, you know. Uh, so one of the things that I found that you don't go, go prepared or you come and give a lot of gyan, which is very common these days. So I thought of not doing too much of gyan and instead talk from my own humble experience. I have had the privilege of working with three leading newspapers, the Times of India Express and Pioneer, then Reliance Industries and then I founded Grey Matters in 2010. So, you know, combining these experiences and, you know, trying to share some of these, I think that is what I'm going to do to not make it sound boring. Now, let me begin with a question. How many of you did economics? How many of you did economics? Can anyone recognize this gentleman? Anyone? Uh, closer, but no. Okay, he is a gentleman called Adam Smith who wrote The Wealth of Nations. You know, I would also not have recognized, you know, because he, they all looked the same uh, during those times. And he talked about what is it that creates the wealth of nation. One of my very old uh, friends, colleagues, somebody whom I had the privilege of nurturing as a child. I, he is going to be one of the speakers. Anand is sitting here. And... Uh, so what is wealth of nations and I borrowed from this why I refer to of course I have three very bright colleagues Madhu, Naina and Pooja and of course I can see Anand whom I had the privilege of working with very closely with now the intellectual capital is the new wealth of organizations in the PR industry there are many who look down upon our industry as something which is uh, frivolous. You know, we do come across uh, many people questioning the integrity, the methodology, 
the ideas, you know, the campaigns, they think we only go to journalists, pay some money, and then come back and have, you know, make merry with our partners. Uh, I like to call them partners, not clients. That's not true. I think as I will try and display through some of the examples that it requires a lot of intellectual capital. And that is where I think it's very important to understand that you are each, I'm, I was hoping to have a uh, audience comprising of millennials. I'm sure uh, they are going to join later. But uh, uh, so Thomas A. Stewart wrote that book. Before him, this gentleman called Carl Eric, he created a, th a theory of knowledge capital in which he spoke about customer capital, structural capital, human capital. Why I'm referring this, that each one of you, each one of us have to realize and understand <clears throat> that we are the human capital. It is our capital, it is our competence, our knowledge, our uh, pride, our ideation is what is going to make uh, the organizations grow. Now, uh, oh, oh, sorry, I, I promised in the beginning that I'm not going to do Gyan. I, I'm sorry, I uh, deviated a bit. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be back to storytelling. I'm going to trail very quickly, not bore you, with four or five stories uh, and ideas that we have had the privilege of uh, doing and uh, uh, conducting. Now, uh, because I know I'm, I'm uh, 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 talking to an enlightened audience, well-read, well-bred, well-dressed, you know, so I think Gyan Bhaji ki jada jarurat nahi hai. But if I am able to kind of leave with some of my own experiences and, you know, enrich the discourse on public relations together, I think I would have been uh, done my job uh, well. Now, uh, uh, my father uh, was a professor. He retired as a professor. And he, he was an English professor. Uh, always very uh, keen to... Uh, see his son, I come from Bihar, a small town in Bihar, we grew up, you know, learning ABC and IAS and IPS. So there was this extreme fancy and we were growing up in the 80s, you know, and the 90s, uh, when India was very, very aspirational, hugely aspirational. And there was this huge emphasis of everyone wanted to do big, you know, so we were asked to do, uh, get into IAS or IPS or IRS or IFS, so there was a huge fixation with I. Unfortunately, so I went to Hindu college, I went to JNU, I ended up doing my PhD, failed civil services, you know. And I couldn't stick to I, but I shifted to the next alphabet, that is J, which is journalism. Now, I had the opportunity to work, as I said, in three newspapers, and that was hugely rewarding, great experience, great learning, great opportunity to meet variety of people. Now, all that came in very handy or coming in very handy when I'm uh, doing this Gray Matters Communications, which is a specialized, now we call ourselves Public Affairs and Political Communication uh, Agency. Why political communication? Because my PhD was on political communication. And when I was doing my PhD, uh, I thought one day when we get a chance, you know, uh, we should, we would get uh, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, we'll try and do something in the political communication space. And I'm very happy to share that today, uh, you know, as I, I speak, my mind is wandering to the Parliament of India where budget is going on and we have to do a lot of work for some, you know, chief ministers, ministers that we work with. Now, uh, so my father one day asked me, ki beta wo sab hai, always very supportive, lekin tum karte kya ho? So, you know, PR or sab achhi baate hai ki tum so I told him, Ki Papa, you know, we do this. And then I took this, uh, one day I tried and explained to him, I showed him this photo, Ki see I'm getting to meet who? See I'm getting to share the stage. You know, I was the backstage manager, so I had this of, 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 of President, being there with President Kalam. Now this is a story, this is my first story. Uh, that one fine morning, it was early years for Grey Matters, a very reputed doctor who had resigned from the AIMS RML, he came to us saying that uh, I am setting up a, an office, a, a hospital in Ajamgarh, and uh, can you help me do PR? I said, uh, can you get some journalists from Delhi, 
you know, because that time I will give you a lot of money. I said, sir, with all due regards, uh, and and so uh, glad you are offering me money. But uh, what will I do with the money if I don't give you result? So he said, no, do something. You know. So I said, what is? He's a neurosurgeon, a great specialist, uh, very well known. So I he told me that uh, there is this uh, challenge of. Uh, 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 iodine deficiency in that belt from Ajamgarh to uh, Gorakhpur, you know, eastern uh, UP, there is a problem of iron de deficiency where, uh, and people have a lot of uh, neuro issues. Now, so why I'm sharing this story is also, of course, besides convincing my father that I'm doing something substantial, also to highlight the significance and the importance of knowledge, of research. Now, thanks to my you know, background in uh, research, we went down and all of us sat together and said that we need to create a narrative. In the conversation, he said, I think Ram Naresh Wado, uh, Yadav, who belonged to Ajamgarh, was the governor of MP that time. He said, either get him or if you can, why not President Kalam because he is a, a great scientist and he will appreciate something like this, a hospital in a remote region. So that somehow stuck with us and then we did a research it took us six months to coordinate. It was not about coordination, but what narrative we created. How did we research? We explored almost 50 academic papers, medical journals uh, from any, everywhere, and we realized that this problem was very glaring. With this narrative, we reached out to President Kalam's office, and they made us you know, really slog very hard. But I was happy in the end, he agreed. And this is what happened, and this is so, uh, with this first story, I think, you know, not only my father got convinced, but we got a major boost in our confidence. As a new agency, I think this was very early in Grey Matter's life. I think this was a great achievement that gave us the confidence and the conviction that if you have the right knowledge and the right narrative, I think you can do well. Now, going to the uh, uh, next story. Now, this is... A uh, lot of coverage uh, from any, uh, by any standards for a private small company. So there is this gentleman called uh, Prashant Jain. He came to me, uh, Os owner of Oswal Book, MD of Oswal Book, and said, you know, we help, uh, we create help books, and why don't you, you know, help us in getting some media coverage? I want to do a press conference in Delhi Press Club, which you are a member. I said, Press club, I can barely get you four journalists, you know, and two of my uh, friends and two others, and none of them will write. At the most, they will write one column. So then what we did, we created a, you know, again, same process. We told him that we are not going to do regular Coke and vanilla stuff. We are going to be, uh, you know, give us some time. I'm not going to do press conference. So we created a, uh, you know, we said that we'll do a all stakeholder uh, meet on status of education, state of a school education. And we did that. Uh, this was, I, I think, again, very early in Grey Matter's life. But subsequently, now that has established. So that is a black and white version of, you know, the previous is a black and white version of uh, uh, this uh, product that we created, a platform that we created called Roundtable, Oswal India, Oswal Books Roundtable on uh, uh, state of school education. And that, I'm happy to share that over the last seven years, we have done eight such uh, round table uh, with attendance of six education ministers of those states. Again, trying to share with my limited experience the uh, significance and importance of uh, uh, knowledge. Now, these are two uh, very happy uh, looking characters uh, that uh, uh, I'm sure Nana in her speech is going to share soon, but uh, when we got a mandate from Bihar State Power Holding Company Limited, is the electricity utility company of Bihar, uh, I said, this is a, I mean, how to make something very sarkari, uh, very exciting. You know, it was a challenge of packaging or repackaging, you know, because there is a lot of distrust, a lot of mistrust about the way, and you know, perception is that electricity company uh, fact is otherwise, we realized after starting to work with BSPHCL that there is a tremendous amount of modernization 
tremendous transparency, yet there was this challenge. If I go, and even at the, you know, Golghar Patna, jisko pata hai, Golghar ke pe khade ho ke bhi agar hum bole, no one will believe. So we created some, you know, mediators, and we thought that an aspirational young, you know, uh, two characters who could represent the rising Bihar, you know, the rural, rustic, yet rising Bihar. Uh, so Bijli Didi and Voltage Bhaiya uh, was born out of one such, uh, what do you call, brainstorming that I was having with Pooja and Nana and Madhu and a whole lot of other colleagues. Uh, and today, I'm happy to share that these have found very good traction with the audience. Now, Bijli Didi and Voltage Bhaiya have become the voice of the organization. They are engaging with the audience seamlessly and talking to them. So some of these tweets that we see, I mean, we, we do a great amount of social media work over the years. I think we have transitioned, you know, from being pure play PR agency to also a lot of digital work. So you see these Voltage Bhaiya, uh, uh, Bijli Didi uh, uh, being used in a lot of these uh, communication. Not only this, when we are doing physical events also, uh, I think we are using cutout. And this has made communication much more smarter, faster, and transparent. So these are, so smart prepaid meter, Bihar is a leading state. And, uh, you know, thanks to the dynamic CMD, uh, Sanjeev Hans, who's an IAS officer. And we are creating a lot of uh, activity, communication activity to support that success story uh, that you see. Now, we also worked with Rajasthan police. So that was to highlight this, my third story. Uh, <coughs> again, we thought how to, uh, you know, I have had the privilege of working with the police organizations for a great deal, you know, so starting with uh, IPS Association. Uh, so the challenge that I faced always that police is, police is ruthless, police wale danda ke wal bhaste this. So there is a huge, Negative, wo abhi bhi persist karta hai. But what we thought that among others, you know, why not use some of these uh, tickles, you know, to excite our audiences. I'm happy to share, you know, that uh, at one point we worked for about two years, you know, and this uh, method earned us a great deal again as PR professionals. What I'm trying to basically convey and communicate is that we have to be innovative uh, I have highlighted the significance of being this thing. So I'll, I'll, I'll uh, uh, you know, so you see a lot of these got, uh, you know, we used, for instance, KBC, Kitna uh, Bada Crime Quiz, and that was a massive hit, the Sanju. So we were absolutely having a fun. In fact, the ADG, uh, Mr. Pankaj Kumar Singh, uh, who went on to become BSF DG, subsequently now is the deputy NSA, he gave us a lot of free hand. So also depends, of course, on your partner. You know, how much uh, you can, you are able to convince your partners about your ability to execute something non-conventional in a non-conventional way. That is also very important. So where, uh, when you're engaging with your partners, try and impress upon the need to slightly go off the clutter, off beat, out of the box thinking, and that will uh, do you well. This is again uh, highlighting the significance of knowledge uh, I will uh, uh, skip this. This is important. Madhu sitting here, she was much slimmer then. Uh, I think, uh, so she is giving a presentation to, this is the DC of Nas Nasik, Madhu, Nasik. Uh, so this was, uh, we worked with DuPont. Uh, now DuPont, as you know, is a big multinational and uh, they used to, uh, they, they are in uh, agrochemicals. Uh, they came to us and said that, uh, we have this massive challenge of spurious and counterfeit pesticide. Uh, sorry, uh, pesticide, yes. Can you, how, what can you do? Now, I told them that if I go as Grey Matters or you go as DuPont and try and create a flut flutter in the market, no one is going to believe, given that there is huge anti-MNC sentiment, especially in rural areas. Uh, so allow us to design a campaign. We designed a campaign where we would do a workshop. You know, there is a independent forum called Fiziha uh, uh, on that. So we do, we'll bring stakeholders, we'll get farmers, agriculture scientists, uh, policy makers, and call the media as partners in progress. You know, we said that this is something that is creating a lot of uh, loss. 
to the exchequer, causing our food uh, system, harm to our food system, and so on. So they said, OK. Uh, we went ahead with the campaign. Eight states, 300 journalists, nine media workshops, you know, over two years. And the result was that this gross safe food that you see for the first time, Ministry of Agriculture issued an advisory to all the states to, uh, to, to, to you know, target and address the menace of counterfeit uh, 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 this thing. Now that's, that's about some of the stories. Uh, as millennials, I think uh, you must understand where have we come, you know, uh, starting with the classical PR, which was more people to people, personalized, defined audiences, <laughs> to conventional PR, uh, organization to organization, media centric, and now today contemporary, your audiences are diverse, they are wanting to communicate with the brand directly, and so on and so forth. You have a huge challenge, you know, and since, uh, uh, so these are some of the things that you all know. Uh, I think uh, that is all time that, uh, that I have time for. Thank you very much for this opportunity, Karan, Dr. Batra, and all of you for your patient here listening to. Thank you. To present that a token, can I please invite Ms. Ruchika Jha, correspondent from E4M.